Hi everyone, I uh, hope everybody's okay. Um, today I am going to show you how to solder a 15mm pipe. So I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to need. Um, these tools are not just for soldering a pipe, these are the main tools you're going to need to do any form of plumbing. So you're going to need a variety of sizes of adjustable spanners. Uh, very handy. So this one, as you can see, very small, very compact, easy to use, very light, perfect tool. Then you've got the medium size. Okay, same thing, but the medium size. And then you've got two of the heavier duty sizes. And these are ha these are very handy, um, especially for radiators, etc., etc. You're definitely going to need a file, okay? Not not, not a coarse file, but uh, let's just hold that up closer to the camera, okay? You're going to need your solder. Now this is leaded solder. Now this is okay for doing everything, gas, central heating, but it is not okay for doing anything to do with hot and cold running water. You must use lead free solder. your flux which helps the flow of the solder adjustable grips cutters this is a 15 mil cutter this one is a 22 mil cutter I'll show you how they work this is an adjustable cutter Ideal for the likes of 8, 10 mil pipes, 15 mil pipes, and 22 mil pipes. This one is obviously for the bigger pipes. You're going to need hacksaws. You're also going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a flat-headed screwdriver. A pair of pliers. A radiator key. A set of vice grips. And last but not least, the torch. These are the basic tools you're going to need to actually do most type of plumbing work. You're also going to need wire wool. I've got some old bits of copper here. I'm going to demonstrate how to cut the copper. Okay. So you take your 22 mil. And I'm going to demonstrate the cutting process for using one of these. Hold the pipe, put the cutter in. Okay, and then just turn the cutter like this. Okay, just turn it, turn it, keep turning, keep turning, and inside there's a little blade. See how it's cutting?
There we go. Okay. With the 15 mil. Put the cutter in. Turn, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. See how it's cutting? And there we go. Now we're going to demonstrate this one. This is an adjustable. So you open it up to whatever size you want. See the two rollers inside? You put the pipe onto the rollers. Let's open that a bit more. Okay. Now tighten it up. Do not over tighten it. Let the tool do the work. If you tighten this up too tight, yeah, you're going to actually compress the pipe. If you compress the pipe, when you actually put your fitting on, it won't be perfectly round anymore. Okay, rotate it a couple of times. See how the blade's cutting? Yeah? Once it's cut, it'll go looser. Okay. So that means that it's time to tighten it up a little bit more. So you tighten it up a little bit more and then turn it again. It's tight, tight, tight. Now it's getting looser again because it's cutting more. Okay, let's tighten it up a bit more. Now a bit more. So this pipe cutter takes a little bit longer, but still does the same job. Still gives you a clean cut. This pipe cutter is the same principle. You put the pipe in, tighten it up, don't compress the pipe, wind it round, it cuts. Tighten it up a bit more, winds round, it cuts, and so on and so forth. And eventually, so let the cutter do the work. Don't tighten it up, tighten it up, thinking, oh, I'll get this done faster. No, you'll compress the pipe, so don't do that. So that's the main tools. That's how you cut the pipe. Now, subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you how to prepare a pipe and solder the pipe. Take care for now.